you have sunscreen? No, I don't. I ain't gonna bother. Why? I don't know. Cause I'm stupid it. like that. So anyway, we're out on the water. Got the little bass boat. This is the bass boat that I did the restoration on. And uh, if you're just tuning in, you can go back and watch those videos on the Vast Motorsports channel. <laughs> But yes, this was the boat that was the total wreck scrap going to the scrap yard. I saved it, rescued it, did my full restore, painted everything, put new sticker kit on it, all new carpet throughout, new seats, painted the dash, did my all custom touch to the dash because of course they don't come like the factory, the colors, and uh, put my GPS and all that. Still got to figure out the GPS. I only had it out the other day in Florida, and as you've seen, if you watched that video, it was not working correctly, so I'm not sure what was going on there. I need to go through some settings, I'm supposed to be guessing. All right. We got us the dogs with us today. Of course. <whistles> Come here, puppy. Hey, Lana. Hey, Lana. Hey, Jasper. Jasper goes everywhere with me, all Today we're bringing Lana. Lana goes everywhere with me. Yeah, Lana goes everywhere with Sierra. So, all right, let's get out on the water. We're fixing to go meet up with Justin and T Dubs and the kids over at the Jumping Rock. Let's go for it. We've been over here at my brother Rob. He's swimming at the dock. And we're about to take out the little boat again. She's been doing good so far. And here is the Super Aeronautique, y'all. G25. <whistles> this is one bad boat here, man. Tell you what. This is the one I did all the custom work to a couple videos back. Those of you that have picked up on the channel and subscribed because you like what I did at a bass boat, look back a few videos a couple weeks ago of this bass boat, I mean this uh, wake boat here, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with some of the custom interior work and stuff in the system I installed in it, and the back seat back here that I had to cut and recover and put the sea deck on it, so now it has steps all the way through to get into the boat because everything was covered in sea step except their seat deck except the very last uh the back seat 
so I fixed all that like the newer models anyway I don't want to take the cover off and show you if you want to see that go on them uh, go back to those two videos one is the before and after what I'm gonna do and then the after and then the other video is the actual procedures on what I did I know some people don't want to watch all that so I made two different videos but you can see what all I did to the boat there all right let's get back on the bass boat go run her around Alright, we're pulling up over at Justin's. I guess they're up at the house still, but I wanted to kind of just pull in here and check things out. And I'll be able to show you the boat real quick before everybody gets on it and the stereo is blasting and stuff. And this is the Maxim 2400 SD deck boat that I used to have. It's the one I restored a couple years back. I did all the interior custom because that's what I do custom interior and did all the flooring and stuff hand stitched well no nah, I got a machine but I mean I stitched every cut it all out the way I wanted it stitched on the outside and put the snaps on where it needed installed the stereo I do have a one of my first videos I ever did on the channel was actually the install on the stereo and it does sound good too. It's got a Fosgate 1000 by 5 amp and stuff on it. Sounding good. I'll tell you what, I miss this boat. <laughs> we love it. Thank you so much. It's been I a do miss huge this one. part of our family. I hear you. We Justin T Dubs like yes, it. Yes, huh? sir. <laughs> Custom did the dash and all. Got a nice little uh, head unit in there, the Infinity. Yeah, I miss this one. He said he'd probably sell in a couple years, so who knows? Maybe I'll buy it back <laughs> if I'm blessed enough. <laughs> it's got the little remote and all back here for the stereo setup. Nice big platform. Yeah, it's a nice one here. I definitely miss it. I like it because it has such a big top on it. Plenty of shade. Where are we going? Oh, all right. Got Justin with Just Trucking. <laughs> Everybody knows him. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So now we're going to go for a little ride. We're going to go say hey to somebody they know. I think it's their babysitter slash neighbor over here. What a small world again. Man, maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to live over this way. <laughs> and then we're going to go head over to the little jumping rock so everybody can swim and jump off the rock. Jasper! Little Jasper got to take a dip and get cooled off. What do you smell, boy? What do you smell? And Lana, she's taking a break in the shade under the console. That's how you do it, Lana. <laughs> Tell you what, that is a nice boat. Man, I missed that Maxim. 2400 SD. Sun deck. at the little jumping rock and let Justin get anchored out first and then I'll pull up beside him and get on that boat. Oh uh, yeah, the Maxim. That's the one I had a couple years back. Did the full restore. Did the whole powertrain and all because when I bought her she needed a full restore. It's another one of those in rough shape from sitting for too long. And I wound up uh, the motor, somebody didn't winterize it correctly and wound up having some freeze problems so I went ahead and pulled that motor 
the aisle drive, everything. I went all the way down to the transom so I could put a new seal and everything on the gimbal housing. Put a nice 5.0 multi-port injection that I found. Had very low hours, like 200 hours on it. And that was three summers ago he's had it. I had it for a while before I sold it to him. Took it to Florida, all that good stuff. Now this is their third summer with it. So it's been a good one. Like I said, who knows? Maybe one day I'll be blessed enough I can wind up with it again. Got a couple nice wake boats over there. All right, time to go jump. It's not a very high one, but it is something to jump off. So let me get in the water and get some, have some fun. Got Justin just trucking. That's right. That's right. Just trucking, huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're about to take off. Jasper, you need to come get a seat, buddy. I'm gonna see, little buddy. All right, we're about to take off. We're going to the house. We're gonna go over and uh, T-Dub is gonna make some delicious cheeseburgers for us. Heck yeah. Woo! That is gonna end the day the right way. Let's go for it. So we got her all loaded up over here fueling up the truck Got her strapped down everything is good to go buckle down whatever and we are about to hit the interstate head on home That was a heck of a good day. I probably got the wind blown going on here, but hey, that's all right We've had fun today. That was an awful good day and we spent the day over there with Justin and T-Dubs and I'll tell you what thank you T-Dubs for the burgers outstanding you always do a good job knock them out of the park with the burgers <laughs> so me and my daughter got to enjoy that and the dogs are all nestled down they look like they are tired they had a heck of a day too so anyway thank you everybody for tuning in and uh thank you for all the support the little channel starting to grow y'all so stick around for the future videos coming up and i hope you enjoyed it and have a good day and god bless everybody Thank you.